What to do, what to do, stop boy D, blockchain finance and value, like and subscribe. And today we're getting into the whole stable coin here, fiasco. So stable coin storm spreads after billions of tether is cashed out. So we can see here, Luna USD is up massive, 21,229.17%. So, <laughs> woo, you know, if you are invested in that, you know, at the right time, you'd be up laughing right now so is it another case of when there's blood in the market invest who knows we're going to read into this and get a bit more into it i bought myself a little bit of um luna um just because you know if it goes up nice you know i'll, I'll be i'll be quids in laughing that like the amount that i lose if it goes to zero is very little compared to the upside that i believe i could get um it's not financial advice it's just a little gamble it is a gamble it's not an investment i'll say it straight is a gamble so let's get into this. So crypto stable coin storm spreads as 7.6 billion of USD tether is redeemed in the past week. The cash out looks likely to continue on Tuesday with impact on all major tokens, including Bitcoin. On Tuesday, the top cryptocurrencies by market cap, Bitcoin and Ethereum rallied 3% in 24 hours with Bitcoin at 30,667 and ETH at 2,091. The cash out of Tether by crypto investors has escalated since the Luna UST crash last Wednesday. The dramatic crash saw the algorithmic stablecoin UST Terra, which had been pegged to the one pegged to the dollar one to one, fall to a low of zero point one dollars. So a stable coin is supposed to be a stable safe haven for investors to part their profits amid the volatility of the crypto market. However, cryptocurrency investors now find they have nowhere to go amid signals of further volatility. No stable coin seems safe at the moment, and the only option is to hold blue chip crypto such as Bitcoin and Ethereum or cash out of the whole ecosystem into a traditional bank account. The crisis deepens as Ethereum, the second biggest cryptocurrency by market cap, has fallen about 60% from its November record. According to technical analysis John Rook of 2020, oh, sorry, 22V Research, Ethereum could drop another 80%. So imagine that. So imagine if Ethereum drops another 80%, guys. Like, we're, we're talking, we're going back to near 2020s. When you could you know get into it and get all these gains back maybe in the future so it's definitely something to keep your eye on so ethereum currently stands at twenty thousand seventy four, but root's downside target is around 420 dollars however both bitcoin and ethereum have risen around three percent in value in the last 24 hours which would suggest weary cryptocurrency investors are parking their money in these blue chips until the current stable coin storm resides the market cap of Teva has been dropping considerably since the blow up of the USDT Terra algorithmic stablecoin. Teva's market cap has fallen from 85 billion before the stablecoin storm to a current value of 76 billion. It's almost 10 billion off. So USDT or Teva should not be confused with UST called Terra, which was the algorithmic stablecoin that crashed last Wednesday. So as you know, if you've been into cryptocurrency for a while, these are two different things. If you're new to the channel, then now you've been informed. So unlike the UST Terra algorithmic stablecoin, USDT Tether is backed by US dollars as collateral. However, its reserves are a point of controversy and only a fractional amount of the $4 of Tether in existence may be redeemed for actual US dollars. Hmm, interesting. So on Monday, the New York Supreme Court rejected Tether's position to block the public from receiving documents detailing the composition of its dollar reserves, which I do think the public do need to know as public money is involved you know there's a lot of retail traders that get into this so you know the fact you want to block that from the the public you know is a red flag for me so the recent crypto market crisis involving stable coins has caused industry experts to call for strong regulation especially of stable coins now if if you're into crypto we have been shouting for regulation for years um and hopefully something you know something good can come out of something bad and the regulators sec whoever can actually take steps towards bringing regulations in because it's ridiculous now it's getting absolutely ridiculous we need regulations so speaking to yahoo finance london-based 
finance tech investor Victor Brock Pena said regulation will bring transparency to the market and end bad practices. Like all young technologies, crypto is about a decade old. The industry has to grow up and out of its existing ways. The recent collapse of Terra and Tether and other stable coins have shown a lack of transparency and an ironic instability in a supposedly more stable cryptocurrency. The news comes as the UK Treasury is en route to legalise the use of stable coins. Last month, HM Treasury tweeted Economic Secretary John Glenn announced today the stable coins will be bought into UK payment regulations. This places the UK finance sector at the forefront of technology, creating conditions for stable coin users and service providers to operate and invest. Woo! So it's crazy guys what's going on at the moment i mean as you know we, if like it, it wiped out so much value and do Kwan was talking about um creating a fork kind of like the same thing ethereum did i've got now ethereum ethereum classic you'd have like us you'd have luna sorry and then luna classic um now from what i know the actual community they're not really with that idea and they're looking to do something different like create a whole new chain that is fully community driven and um, we're gonna have to see how that goes but i have you know i threw a little bit of money into terror not a lot at all um if it if it, if it ever ever goes back to what it was which i very much doubt but you know you can never say never then you know your quid's in you're laughing but will it ever you know i doubt it um but with time time is a great healer so who knows what can happen two three years down the line so yeah it's just a little update on the stable coin um, fiasco that's spreading through the market at the moment so let me know if you like um, content like this uh, blockchain finance and value stop boy d like and subscribe if there's anything else you'd like me to cover please holler in the um comments below more comments uh, i think i'm going to do something where more comments equal more giveaways um so yeah like and subscribe and peace